a curve is given by the equation given. Question A, by applying L'Hopital's rule, or otherwise shows that limit when x tends to infinity of a given expression is equal to 1. L'Hopital's rule says that if we get that limit is equal to 0 over 0 infinity over infinity, such limit is equal to the limit uh, of derivative of the numerator divided by uh, the derivative of the denominator. Here it's uh, already stated that uh, L'Hopital's rule can be applied, but let's consider why uh, it can be applied here when x is, uh, uh, you can see that uh, it's not specified plus or minus infinity because uh, in general there is a difference. When x is plus infinity, x is very large and uh, positive. e to the power of 2x is very large positive and uh, this uh, uh, plus uh, minus 1, it's infinitely uh, or very small value, so it, it doesn't matter, it will be much uh, greater. So it will be what? A very large positive or very large positive, so it's infinity over infinity as required. And when x is uh, negative infinity, very large but uh, negative, we get a, a e to the power, which is uh, very large and negative, and it becomes 1 over e to the power which is very large and positive, and it's what? It's zero, and it becomes zero over zero. So L'Hopital's root can be applied. Hence, it becomes limit x tends to infinity e to the power 2x minus 1 divided by e to the power 2x plus 1 is equal to the limit x tends to infinity and derivative of the numerator, which is what? 2 e to the power of 2x divided by the derivative of the denominator 2 times e to the power of 2x and we can see it's 2 over 2 which is 1. Oh, we can write just 1 as required. The next shows that the first derivative of y is equal to a given expression. So we can see that y is what is division of two functions, so we just apply a quotient rule, and it says that dy over dx formula is given in a data booklet, and it becomes denominator squared, numerator derivative, which is 2e to the power 2x, multiplied by the denominator, minus numerator, and uh, multiply by the denominator derivative, which is what 2 e to the power of 2x. And you can see that we can factor out e to the power uh, 2x, and it becomes e to the power 2x plus 1 minus e to the power of 2x plus 1, and the denominator is the C. And you can see that it becomes what? 4 times e to the power of 2x, e to the power of 2x plus 1, squared, as required. The next hand shows that 1 minus y, squ uh, y squared is equal to the first derivative. So we can just consider 1 minus y squared to get to be equal to this. So let's consider 1 minus y squared. It becomes 1 minus e to 2x minus 1 e to 2x plus 1 and squared which is let's do a common denominator and it becomes e to the power of 2x plus 1 and squared let's rewrite plus 1 and squared minus e to the power of 2x minus 1 squared 
we can expand as uh, a plus b squared and uh, a minus b squared or also we can consider as a squared minus b squared consider as a squared minus b squared and it becomes what a minus b so e to the power 2x plus 1 minus e to the power 2x uh, minus 1 so plus 1 and multiplied by a plus b so e to the power 2x plus 1 plus e to the power 2x minus 1 or you may just expand as a plus b squared and uh, a minus b squared and then simplify e to the power 2x plus 1 and actually we know what we should get and it becomes what just 2 and 2 times e to the power 2x e to the power 2x plus 1 squared and it's 4 times e to the power 2x and it is equal to dy over dx as required the next by using implicit differentiation and the resulting part b shows that the second derivative so we need just differentiate this so we, differ, uh, we differentiate everything with respect to x and it becomes it becomes one derivative uh, it's uh, zero because just a constant minus y squared derivative is what it's negative 2y dy over dx it chain rule something squared it's two times something something derivative e is equal to uh, the first derivative and again derivative it's what it's just the second derivative and you can see that it must be like this and we can what just represent dy with dx in terms of y or using this result so it becomes negative to y and multiplied by 1 minus y squared this is equal to the second derivative and it becomes negative to y plus 2y cubed is uh, the second derivative of y as required The next hence find an expression for the third derivative in terms of y so again what implicit differentiation the second derivative the second derivative and uh, again derivative it's uh, it's what it just the third derivative don't uh, get confused because it may be like this in general it's just the first derivative but squared and it's not the same as like this it means the second derivative and it becomes what 6y squared dy over dx minus 2 dy over dx which is 6 y squared minus 2 and dy over dx we can represent in terms of y but it's it's not given that it should be in terms of y only oh no no yes it must be in terms of y so we just use this again so it's times 1 minus y squared and and we can factor out 2 so it becomes 3y squared minus 1 1 minus y squared or, or actually it's not necessary because we can or oh, actually it's not required to expand it let it be like this or oh, let factor out 2 to get 3y squared 
minus 1, 1 minus y squared. Let it be like this. Then, by using the results, find the Maclaurin series for a given function, for a given y, up to x cubed. So, formula for the Maclaurin series, it's what function f of x, it's what function at uh, 0 or 0 plus the first derivative at 0 um, times x plus the second times x squared over 2 factorial plus the third at 0 and x cubed over 3 factorial which is 6 and plus so on. Hence our function y becomes and let's find separately what is y at 0 y at 0 it's what it just 0 because e to the power of 0 1 1 minus 1 is 0 then the first derivative at 0 where is it it's here at 0 so y at 0 and y at 0 it's what it's 0 so it's 1 The second derivative at 0, where is it? It's here. The second at 0, it's uh, at 0, so y at 0, y at 0, but y at 0, it's 0, so it's just 0 minus 0, it's 0. And finally, the third derivative at 0, is this one and you can see that y is 0 is 0 so it becomes 2 times what 0 minus 1 1 minus 0 so it's what it's negative 2 hence y or let me write our function e to the power of 2x minus 1 e to the power of 2x plus 1 approximately equals to uh, 0 plus the first derivative at 0 it's 1 times x plus the second uh, at 0 is 0 and the third is 0 over 6 so it's uh, minus 1 over 3 x cubed And that's all for this question.